and welcome back to this special edition from Green's Update. Big shouts going out to Amy, Devon, Just Black, Colo, Candice, and Antonia. Grateful to be here again. I'm Apple Wise, and in this episode. <laughs> In reggae music emerge Sizzler, the gladiators, and the black people. He was getting horrible treatment. Three, two, one. This video is sponsored by Benji's Corner in Duquesne St. Marks. Check out her store for some latest styles and she also has magnetic eyelashes together with glues for nails and eyelashes, body wash, perfume, roll on, just name it. Visit them today or call them on 1473-535-3367. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, comment your name and the country we are representing for a shout out in our next video. The Jamaican reggae artist who has been entertaining audiences with his soulful voice and smooth melodies for over three decades, his music is characterized by his ability to blend different musical styles including reggae, R&B and gospel. The, agility the, the unseen being. Yes. Yes. I would say that's a man who has me, has my back. Yeah, because there are times when, I mean, the field look crowded and I still just come out like without a speck. Yes. I know it must be the, the Almighty. And his powerful vocals has won him numerous awards and accolades throughout his career. In this vlog, we will explore the life and music of this legendary artist and delve into some of his most popular songs and performances. Sanchez. Sanchez, whose real name is Kevin Anthony Jackson, was born November 38, 1964 in Kingston, Jamaica. Sanchez grew up with his mother, father, two brothers and two sisters in the Stony Hill and Waterford communities on a strong Christian principles. He says, I had to go to church every Sunday and often during the week as well. I was a member of a church choir and later the senior choir where I was a lead singer. I just love singing and going to church. When I started to attend St. Andrew Technical High School, I started hanging out with a new set of friends. Things began to change and we had to go parties where song systems like Rambo, Small Axe and Crystal would play. I really began to like the music and went through a period of conflict which later resulted in me drifting from church. My, grand, my father used to say, you know, his grandfather used to say, you should be a singer because you ball too much all the time, you know, and you ball too much. If you take the pants on him, you would cry. If you take the bamboo joints on him, you would cry. And she said, you would say, use your voice and sing. I'm telling the pants you make too much noise and all that. You know, so when he was much smaller, I would have to do it. Sanchez began his musical career in the late 1980s when he was discovered by the veteran reggae producer Winston Riley. Riley produced Sanchez's first hit, Loneliness, which topped the Jamaican charts in 1987. <laughs> the success of Loneliness led to a recording contract with RCA Records. And Sanchez released his first album, Loneliness, in 1988. The album was a commercial success and it established Sanchez as one of the leading reggae artists of the late 1980s and the early 1990s. You say you love me, baby, and we 
continued to release hit albums throughout the 1990s, including Wild Sanchez in 1991, Praise Him in 1992, oh, my and Pelirious Time in 1994. As I'm on my knees. His music was characterized by his smooth, soulful voice and his ability to blend different musical styles, including reggae, R&B, and gospel. Of course, it's good to be a household, and, and, and to be honest, it's even better to know that your songs are on everyone's lips. When you're doing them, they're singing them word for word, so it's, it's, it's a great feeling. Mm. So. In addition to his solo career, Sanchez also collaborated with other artists including the Jamaican dancehall artist Florgon and British singer Janet Kay. He also performed on several high-profile tours including the Reggae Sunsplash Festival and the Sting Concert Series. Sanchez's success continued into the 2000s with the release of albums such as Stays On My Mind 2001 Simply Being Me 2003 and Who Is This Man in 2005. He also continued to tour broadly, performing at venues around the world. I can have thought of you and you feel the feelings too far behind. I see all the tears in this side Throughout his career, Sanchez has received numerous awards and accolades, including several reggae music awards and the Best Male Vocalist Award. Started singing in church. Yeah, man, and you know, I, I, I know it was out of my jurisdiction because I know the Christianity thing, you have to keep it straight. But the sheer love for the music was drawing me to a different genre. And I mean, I've entered, and the rest is just history from that. So okay. I would just go and give thanks to my fans again because I didn't say Sanchez. Wow, yeah, yeah, Sanchez. see? He has also been recognized for his contributions to Jamaica music and culture. He has been honored by the Jamaican government with the order of distinction. Sanchez, it gives me great pleasure to hand to you this symbolic public citation, the acknowledgement of your work. Let me say that I grew up on your music and I am a great fan. So it is even a greater pleasure today to hand this to you as our public acknowledgement of your work. Sanchez is one of the most successful and respectful reggae artists of his generation. Singer of the senior choir by the age of 13. A, su a successful selector operating under the name of Bottle Drinks. At the age of 19, a bona fide recording office, artist by the age of 23, Kevin Anthony Sanchez Jackson. So on, on behalf of this great student, Sanchez, I please know, wow, well you really shall. Look at that. Give it up for Kevin Anthony Sanchez Jackson. His music has touched the hearts of many people around the world and his profound voice continues to motivate new generations of reggae artists. Check out Sanchez's music on all streaming platforms. See you next time. Peace and love.